Do you think I could still punt if I had to right now? So that's why I text you. I said, you don't all work right, on Sundays. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I said, I text you, you don't work on Sundays. There's some other things that you have to, you know, probably clean up, but, you know, be able to pass whatever. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Sundays are still open for you, right? Yeah, well, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Thursdays are going to be awesome. I uh, can't wait to see you in person. You're the best, ladies and gentlemen. Coach, we're going on. Yeah, Coach! Got a lot of texts from a lot of people in the last 24 hours. What are you talking about? Believe it or not. About what? Well, you gonna play football again? All right, we got a hard out here coming in about thirty what seconds. Happened? What are you talking about? What do you mean? So, a guy who I'm a massive fan of suffered a very unfortunate and devastating injury yesterday for the Indianapolis Colts. Rigoberto Sanchez, oh, the yeah. punter that took over after I left and retired out of nowhere, who has done a fantastic job. Boring punter because all he does is everything right all the time. He's a he beat cancer last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he's got a torn Achilles. This dude's been through it all. He'll come back even better. But yes, I have received. A lot of text messages about what I'm up to this fall. I've been retired for four years, dude. That's a long, long time. time. No, that's not yeah. that that's long. a long time, dude. That's a long time. I was putting balls at training camp the other day, though. A lot of them. Pretty good, too. Barefoot. I was turning some over. And I, when I was hitting those balls, I actually... You know, and this is the thing. I read the universe a lot. You know, I like to... I think yeah, the, I think I think the universe... Yeah. Now, religious people say God puts it in front of me. I just say the universe puts mm-hmm. shit in front of me for me to, and I should acknowledge those things. So when somebody like Jim Mercer told the story when he came on the show, he said, there's this guy who was in a flood and he was out of house and a uh, boat came and he said, uh, hey, why don't you get on a boat? And he said, God will save me if God wants this to happen. He go, okay. Then they sent a helicopter in and they dropped the line down. And the person was like, hey, get out of the flood. You can join me on here. And the guy's like, no, no, God. God will save me if he wants me to be saved and go out there. So inevitably, he dies from the flood. He gets up there, he talks to God, and he goes, God, I thought you were saving me. He said, I sent you a fucking boat in a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, I believe that that story is a real one. Like, I think the universe shows you things. Like, when I retired, I thought there was a lot of things that were just stacking up, and the universe was like, hey, dude, it is time. Even though you could probably still kick balls, it is time. So the universe... You know, last week when I was at training camp, oh. and this is not something I would ever do. Like, this, it actually came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I, there was no reason for me to do it. I started punting a ball, and I was like, let me see if I could still do this if I had to. It's literally what first 10 kicks were terrible. And about 12, I started turning it over a little bit. And then, like, the next 20 balls, I started hitting well. And afterwards, I'm chatting with everybody, including the training room, the equipment room, the PR people for the Colts. I'm like, I just had to find out if I still had it or not, you know? And everybody's like, still got it. I was like, yeah, I think so. I think I still got it. But my knee hurt. My plant knee hurt like a motherfucker. I mean, afterwards, so it was a whole thing. So last night, as I'm getting bombarded with text messages, and now tweets are coming out, the Forrest Buckner sent me a tweet, mm-hmm. and everybody, yeah, here it is. I know you still got some juice in that leg last dance, question mark. Yeah. And it's an incredible honor that people reach out to me. And obviously, the Colts are not the first team to reach out to me whenever a kicker or a punter injury is ha- taking place to see if I'm in there. But it was hard not to be like, why did the universe have me punt 32 fucking yeah. balls last week and see if I could still have it? It's in there. I, my rights are still with the Indianapolis Colts. It's in time. We got 18 days till kickoff. Hmm. I mean, it's hard not. Now, granted, everybody knows the FanDuel deal. We got a SeatGeek deal, a Roman deal. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. I mean, there's 12 families that are. Yeah, I mean, I was barefoot too. I mean, it was a whole. Those are, that was a jugs ball. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things to think about, and I thought about. Why it are you all. barefoot plant leg? Uh, because that shoe, the one they gave me, had like this high platform, and I was like breaking my ankle every time I took a step. I was sliding off the side of it. And I'm like, well, that ain't gonna help me at all. Like hocus. Yeah, exa- it was like a- exactly. It was like you're a also punting with an untied shoe, pretty well. Yeah, well, it's mm. the hocus can you shoe. punt with a bare? You could punt with a bare foot, pretty good, I'm guessing. Yeah, if I was like the dumbest human of all time. Yeah, those balls were not kicker balls. <laughs> they were hard. They were jugs balls. But anyways, it was a lot of. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the- Ty just had a baby. Bill just remodeled a home. He's, mm-hmm. Bill spent more money on his house to rebuild it than he did to buy it. Right. Two actors. I had nice. no, he had nice. no idea. Zito just did the same thing to his uh-huh. house. Mm-hmm. Nick has a house. He's getting married. What does that have to do? Tones, you know, married, has a family, or has a house. Connor's still doing his thing downtown. Oh, yeah. But it's like, you know, <laughs> like there's a lot of things on my plate that are vastly different than maybe two years ago or three years ago with the amount of guys. So. I mean, last night I spent a large portion of it trying to piece together how that would look and if my body could handle it. And we have not gotten an answer yet. And we don't know if the Colts are directly 
you know, interested. It would have to be a real thing. But to Chuck's point, I ain't passing no fucking weed test here for no. some time right now. No. I, I mean, that ain't that ain't. Do they, that, well, do they even make you they take them anymore? Word? I don't know because I even thought about this. This about twelve thirty. Wizenator? No, oh. no. Was they, they? I assume they're going to look for the big fake wiener. Dong. Yeah, yeah. That, they have to look at your dong now. When you pee, in the you got the same color as yours, a Twenty-two maybe. inch yeah. penis. Yeah. My God, <laughs> the piss test, test guy going, "God damn, your penis is grown." <laughs> um, I, I'd be smoking when I was, and I'm not. I don't have no idea. I don't know if I'm good enough to get back. I don't know if the body's good enough. I don't know if the Colts actually would want me to do this. I mean, this is there's a lot happening here quickly. And Rigoberto Sanchez is a dude I fucking love. So it's like a whole. There's a lot happening here, and our building has a lot going on. But I would have been smoking when I was retired in legal states. So there's no way that if they were to potentially test me if this was to happen and I had uh, THC and they wouldn't be able to punish me for that because I wasn't in the or league. Or breaking yeah. the law. You know what yeah. I mean? So like I, I had that thought, but that would be a reason. And who knows if the NFL has any reason in that particular True. standpoint, you know? But I don't I, know. I thought you were going to say when you were worried about the aliens last night, you got up and punted a few balls. No, last night I couldn't. You know, New House doesn't have just a fucking football oh, field yeah. in the back. No. You, know? you don't but, have that flood plane you can punt in? Exactly. You could put like a, maybe like a fishing rod line around a football. That'd be punt it in the water. Reel it back in. Yeah. Tie it to your wrist. No, it doesn't make sense. Like Diggs did with that brick he tied to his yeah. foot. Yeah. Yep. When he was trying to cross a frozen river to see if the ice was thick enough. He tied a rock to his ankle and threw it ahead. And if it went through, he knew that he would go through. <laughs> but the funny thing about that is, you know, you're tying a rock to your ankle. Yeah. So Did you have a quick release on your ankle or anything, Diggs? No, it was fucking four AM yeah, probably. Blacked out. Blacked out. <laughs> I mean there's slaughtered. But for those that are wondering, I have thought about it. I have been thinking about it. It did keep me up all night because this does feel like a potential universe yeah. uh -oh. thing happening. But there's a lot going on in this particular business that I would have to. But who knows if the Colts even wouldn't be a part of that. And this life is very good. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying life right now immensely and trying to focus fully on this type of thing because uh, I think it's gettable. I think this business is gettable. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I think it is. I think... Uh, you know, unprecedented stuff yeah. happens. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. A lot That's of right. it. That would be unprecedented. If, was, say, yeah. if that was to happen, I think it would be unprecedented. Yeah. But the punter position would be the one. Ah. Yeah. A lot of things have to happen. A lot of moving parts. Who knows if the Colts are interested? Just everybody watching that has tweeted me. You and I are on the same exact fucking page. It is wild. It is mm -hmm. weird. It is taking place. And I'm probably in one of the best shapes I've been in in my life. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but this move. Hey. It's all your plant leg? Yeah. I don't know. we got to figure out whether or not it would be good. And also, I'm nowhere near as explosive as I was four years ago. That could come back, though. I think that's something oh, yeah. that could come back. That comes back. back quick. That could come back. I don't have to kick off. Nope. True. Actually, I might. I don't know. I'm making decisions for the team now. We don't even know. If they're <laughs> True. We don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not These the right are my words. terms. Colts have signed a punter. Really? Okay. Show must go on. All right. <laughs> Who did they sign? Matt Hack. Great punter out of Miami. And then he was with Buffalo. I believe he's from Iowa originally. Ooh. So he's a fucking dog. Gritty. Used to be a wide receiver. Athlete. Oh, yeah. Let's great, run some fakes. Great athlete. I, I got a chance to kick some balls with him a couple years ago. I didn't know who he was. He was coming out of college. He fucking demolishes footballs. Now, I think the last couple stops, he hasn't been as consistent as, you know, everybody would hope in the NFL, but... With the Colts, this could be his best stop. He's going to have his best team. He might be fucking great. Yeah, he went from Des Moines to Arizona State, Dolphins for, and then the Bills. And then we'll Let's go. Good. He murders footballs, though. I saw him hit some balls. I'm like, Ooh. Good get. I think hmm. so. Just got to hit him all the time. Mm -hmm. Matt will do that. This is the right place for him. Uh, that's good news for all of us, by the way. And me, I can take that off the plate. <laughs> I can take that off the plate. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I ain't beating Matt Hack. Well... Yeah. I don't know, though. <laughs> Only one way to find out. No, no, I'm not competing with anybody. That, that would have been a job that would have had to been, hey, we need you, here's the job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because there's going to be some, I'm going to be working on things probably up until mm -hmm. game day. Yeah, until kickoff, I'm going to be working on some shit here. So we got to find it. I don't know if you're going to want to judge me these first couple of days against Matt. And with that being I love Matt Hack. Yeah. So I'm fucking happy he's here and getting another opportunity. He's very, very good. I mean, the tape doesn't lie. 
What? The tape you put out there from training camp? All right, listen. I may be, I just. It's a judge uh, machine. I did bomb a couple I wouldn't of write it all. I watched him last night. I watched it last night. I'm like, that's a, that's a jugs ball, and I'm barefoot, basically. I started getting the stopwatch out because Darius was trying to fuck me. Yeah, he was. Darius was doing the stopwatch on his phone. He's like, 4 3. I'm like, Darius. <laughs> that's not accurate. Ever. Darius, you need to shut the fuck up already. He's like, no, they're saying I got a good thumb. I got a good thumb. He was, uh, I forget who he compared himself to. But yeah, he was he was giving me Cashel hang Cashel. times, and it was like almost yeah, Castle. He said I got Charlie Castle thumb. <laughs> That's what Darius was saying. It was awesome. But what, what's a good hang? What do you want? It depends how far you hit it. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's say you hit a fifty-five yard. So you always want the yardage to match the number. So that would be a five-five. Okay. That would be like perfect ball. So if you hit a forty-seven yarder, you want a four-seven ball. If you hit a four-two, that better be forty-two. If it's forty-nine, obviously you see there's seven tenths and seven. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yards difference there. So that's what you're aiming for. Gotcha. Yeah, so these guys, but if you can hit a ball 82 yards, you fucking hit a ball 82 yards though too. So that thing could be 4-2. Matt Ariza hitting mm-hmm. that fucking 82-yard ball. That's probably mm-hmm. a 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, 82 yards. We'll take it. You know, then just kickoff coverage basically. Yeah. Gillikin. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, Bill Gillikin with an 81-yarder. You take that every time if you can do that. Go ahead. Go ahead and hit that ball 81 yards if you yeah. can. Unless, you know, obviously a short. Do they ever kick a ball in college with hang time? I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't watch enough. The Aussies yeah. do not. No offense to the Aussies. The Aussies are trying to get a ball from point A to point B their entire life because punting is a pass in a shot. So it's not like, hey, need it to hang yeah. before mm. it gets to the target. So that's the big change for the Aussies. A lot of guys have gotten comfortable with doing it and have been able to transition easily. A lot of college guys can't hit balls with hang because everybody can lean the, leave the line of scrimmage before the ball is kicked, so they're just trying to roll it down the field, basically. That's the big difference. That's the, the big difference. But I think there's some guys from college that used to hit big hangs. J.K. used to hit hang, a hang ball, an mm-hmm. NFL ball in college, mm-hmm. and then uh, – and it didn't work out with the Packers. He's with the Chargers now? Yes. He's Doesn't right. seem to be working out that well with them either no. if the last game was any indication. Mm-hmm. Good luck, though. Best of luck, JK. You're so rude. What do you mean? He, was, he, he almost made the tackle. He did. You saw him hucking. He still didn't shoot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He dives there and breaks his finger. Yeah. True. Finger. I mean, that's best case. It's his finger. What if he dislocates his shoulder? I, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I fucking broke, I think, like my pinky here on <laughs> diving to tackle somebody. And I couldn't say anything. I couldn't say anything yeah. for like the re- next five weeks. Like, I think I had a broken thing here. What am I going to do? Oh, I broke my pinky on a tackle. Like, all right, I'm not going to say that. Nobody will take me seriously ever again. But for the rest of the game, that ball was hitting me. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I, heard I think I got to. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Buddy tape it. I, you, right here. Could you imagine yeah. I show up to a game fucking? <laughs> What's up? What's going on, boys? How we doing here? 